So every day, our weather team shows you in some form a picture from a satellite. But did you know those satellite images have a Rochester connection? L3 Harris designed, built, and tested the camera or advanced baseline Im imager on NOAA's GOES-3 series of satellites that are currently in use. Now, as the last one is set to launch in April, Liam Healy sat down with the head of the project to look back at this generation and ahead to the next. Liam. Yeah, Chris Reith is the program manager for NOAA's GOES U satellite at L3 Harris. While the advanced baseline imager was built out as his facility in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the final checks and testing all happened right here in Rochester before being shipped to the Kennedy Space Center to get hooked up right before its flight. The testing process is designed to mimic the environment of space that the ABI is going to experience over its lifetime. It's a really rigorous and extensive test campaign that can span several months. L3 Harris has worked on the GOES program for several generations now, each time helping to improve what can be seen from space. According to Pam Sullivan, who oversees the GOES program and more at NOAA, the jump from the last generation to this was massive. A huge upgrade compared to the previous generation. Um, they actually have 60 times the amount of data. Goes our series can see in 16 colors as opposed to the previous generation only five. Those 16 colors also called bands range from the visible to the infrared spectrum. Another major leap forward was how often new images are sent back along with a higher resolution than ever before. The next generation, though, called GeoXO for now, it's only set to get better. GXI, or the GeoXO imager, as we call it, there's going to be a two additional bands over the 16 bands that are provided on ABI. Also, there's going to be enhancements to resolution on seven of the existing bands. So L3 Harris, once again, is providing the imager for the new generation of satellites, which is set to launch tentatively in 2032. Goes you, though, will hopefully launch by the end of April, capping off a monumental leap forward for NOAA, meteorologists, in the world. We always say, you know, whether or not you've ever heard of GOES, GOES helps you every day, you know, before, during, and after a disaster, you know, it's there looking out for you. Now, when GOES U does become operational, its name will change to GOES 19 and replace GOES 16, which is also called GOES East. That will then become the main satellite covering the East Coast, including right here in Rochester.